you might be eligible for money you don't even know about. I've spent 10 years helping low-income Americans make ends meet, and in this video, we're going to explore 10 honest, tested ways to get extra cash. No scams, just real opportunities. Everyone wants extra cash, and I am going to share ways to find it. While there's no magic get-rich-quick solution, you might be surprised by what's available. Before we dive into ways that you can get more money sent straight into your account, I just want to point out that you may be able to get more money faster if you're looking for help with a specific need. Check out our other videos for ways that you can get hundreds or even thousands of dollars in help with your utilities, rent, car payments, and more. But for now, let's get back to the point and dive into those ways that you can score some extra cash. Okay, let's get started with the easiest and potentially most exciting way to find cash, uncovering money that you didn't know existed. Seriously, there might be money out there with your name on it. I know it sounds far-fetched, but many people have unclaimed funds waiting for them, and this happens for a lot of different reasons. For example, have you ever moved without updating your address with a bank or a service provider? Maybe an old refund check got lost in the mail or a security deposit slipped your mind. Did you have a savings account as a kid or a dormant credit union account from a past job? Over time, these accounts can become inactive and all of this money gets transferred to the state so that they can hold on to it until you claim it. Maybe you inherited some stock from years ago but never knew about it. Companies lose track of shareholders all the time and those shares end up in state custody. The good news, every state has an unclaimed property division that holds on to this money. It can come from a variety of sources, like the examples I mentioned, but it can come from other things as well, like uncashed checks, unpaid life insurance benefits, and even forgotten utility deposits. Most states have a website specifically dedicated to helping you claim this unclaimed property. So if you want to claim it, here's what you need to do. Go to missingmoney.com. This national website is a great starting point. It lets you search unclaimed property databases from most states in one place. If that doesn't work or you want to do something else, find your state's unclaimed property website. Every state has their own. You can do a quick web search for your state name and then unclaimed property and that should take you there. Make sure to check every state you've lived in so that you don't miss out on anything. Once you find a match, the state website will have some instructions that you can follow to claim your funds. It's typically pretty straightforward. You have to submit a claim form. You usually have to upload some identification documents, that sort of thing. Remember, there is no fee to search for or claim your unclaimed property. Do not be fooled by any websites that want you to pay to find that money. I know this might seem like a long shot, but it's definitely worth a try. When I did a search recently, I found over $400 that my husband and I missed out on somewhere along the way. It only took a few minutes to find it, so I highly recommend it. Another way to possibly find unexpected money is through class action settlements. Here's the thing. Big companies get sued sometimes for doing things that harm their customers, even in small ways. These lawsuits often become class action suits that cover a wide amount of people who were affected. And that means that you might be entitled to a payout. Individual payouts are usually small. Sometimes they're only a few dollars, but sometimes they are worth hundreds. It just depends on what company is involved and what they did wrong and how many people are affected. In the last few months, I was able to file claims for up to $100 from a Verizon settlement and another one up to $25 from a Walmart settlement. That's $125 altogether, and it took me less than two minutes. It's going to be a little while before that money comes in, but $125 for two minutes of work is not bad at all. And that's why I always recommend checking out any class action settlements you may be eligible for. And the good news is low income relief makes it ridiculously easy to find the class action settlements that you may qualify for. Just go to lirlinks.com slash class to see the full list of upcoming settlements that we found. Now, while class action settlements can provide some unexpected cash, you may be entitled to a lot more money if you've been seriously injured due to someone else's actions. That's where our sponsor injury claims can help. They specialize in connecting people with lawyers, handling cases ranging from car accidents to medical malpractice to defective and dangerous products like blenders or talcum powder. If you have a potential claim, their services can help you understand your rights and seek the financial compensation that you deserve. Connect with their most up-to-date list of claims at lirlinks.com slash claims. Now, another thing they can do is help you with disability benefits. If you're struggling to work due to a disability, they can help you with both Social Security and VA claims. 
They can also assist you with appeals if you've previously been denied. Getting disability benefits approved can be frustrating because even small errors in your paperwork can lead to rejection. Having an experienced team on your side makes a huge difference in getting the benefits that you deserve. You can connect with those resources at lirlinks.com slash claims as well. Now, if you're looking for a way to make money on your downtime, there are apps that will pay you for simple tasks like taking surveys, watching videos, or even playing games right on your phone. Now, these won't make you rich, but they are a fun way to earn a little extra cash or pick up some gift cards. My personal favorite is Swagbucks. I've used it for years. They offer lots of ways to earn surveys, games, online shopping, even submitting receipts. Those points are called swag bucks and they add up and you can redeem them for all sorts of goodies. I once used swag bucks to completely cover Christmas for my five children. It was awesome. If you want to try it out, you can claim a $10 sign up bonus through my affiliate link at lirlinks.com slash swag. Now, of course, this isn't the only app like this. You can also try Inbox Dollars or My Points, which both offer $5 sign up bonuses when you sign up through my affiliate links at lirlinks.com. If you receive SNAP benefits, there's a clever way to get some extra money back too. There's an app called Ibotta that rewards you with cash back on groceries. And yes, it works with your EBT card. With some smart shopping techniques, you can spend all of your food money and get a little extra cash back too. Now, what makes Ibotta extra cool is their 100% cash back offers. Basically, you buy select items using your EBT and they refund the whole cost back to your Ibotta account, which you can withdraw straight to your bank account when you reach the minimum balance. It's like getting those items for free. If you want to give it a try, use our affiliate link at lirlinks.com slash Ibotta to get started and snag a sign-up bonus. Now, sometimes unexpected expenses or a sudden drop in income can create a major financial crisis. That's where hardship grants can be a lifesaver. These grants are designed to provide immediate relief when you're facing things like eviction, utility shutoffs, or essential car repairs. The good news is that there are lots of organizations offering these grants. I know that navigating them can feel overwhelming, but we have an in-depth video explaining everything about hardship grants, where to find them, how to qualify, the application process, and everything you need to know. Go check out our other videos to get started. Now, if you've got stuff lying around that you don't use or need anymore, you may be able to turn those unwanted items into cash. While it may not seem glamorous, selling things around your house is a tried and true way to make money when you need it. I used to flip thrift store finds for cash when my family was struggling hard, and I was actually able to fully support my family that way for quite some time. But here's the trick. You have to think beyond the traditional yard sale. Nowadays, online marketplaces and apps make it incredibly easy to sell almost anything. Websites like Poshmark or ThreadUp specialize in fashion, making it easy to list and ship clothing. Facebook Marketplace, eBay, or even Craigslist are great for everything from furniture to electronics to collectibles. If you want to build a reliable side hustle, thrift stores and discount markets like Timu are treasure troves of items that you can usually flip for a pretty decent profit. Don't underestimate what people will buy. Old toys, books, even used kitchenware can find a new home and put some extra money in your pocket. You can grab my How to Sell Stuff guide by signing up for our email list at lirlinks.com slash sell. And speaking of side gigs, there are a lot of ways that you can earn some extra money on the side. If you have a car and you're able to get around easily, gig economy apps can be a flexible option. Apps like DoorDash, Instacart, Uber Eats, and others will let you set your own hours delivering food or groceries. If you enjoy driving and meeting new people, Uber and Lyft can pay you to give people rides. For those with online skills, sites like Upwork and Fiverr can connect you with clients who need anything from writing to web design to virtual assistant services. While these might not be a perfect fit for everyone, they offer flexibility and the potential for quick, reliable earnings. Now, we've covered a lot of great ways that you can find or earn extra money, but let's be honest, sometimes unexpected expenses hit when you're at your most vulnerable and you just don't have the ability to use these other options. So if you've exhausted your other choices, platforms like GoFundMe can be a great way to raise funds from friends, family, and even kind strangers. This is definitely the riskiest and least reliable option on our list. Sadly, around 90% of GoFundMe campaigns do not reach their goals. That's why it's critical to make yours stand out. So go check out our recent video where we break down exactly what it takes to create 
a successful campaign from writing a compelling story to getting it seen by the right people so that you can actually get those donations. I'll see you there.